Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial with your boy Trill. Uh, today's tutorial is going to be based on uh, how to add your plugins, your samples, your drum kits, drum loops, whatever you want to uh, call it. I'm going to cover the whole topic because probably it took me a lot of uh, watching a lot of uh, videos and probably a lot of research to, to know these things. I'm going to make them as simple as possible so that everyone gets to know them. Um, without much wasting on much of the time, uh, let's jump on my screen uh, and get into it. Okay, first of all, when you open your uh, Studio One, it's going to be on this uh, on this uh, page. So what you're going to do is probably you can uh, come here to Studio One. You click on Studio One. Then you come to Options gonna come to VST plugins you click that uh, the first button up here is a uh, scan at start so what this does is every time studio one is opened uh, it starts to scan the these folders you've added below here to search for your plugins so in a case where you've already added all your plugins and you've already done your scan before i recommend to turn it off so that uh, it loads up quick without scanning or so that you can at least save you uh, much of the time when you're working in studio one i'll click that back uh, so we in here uh, are the files or let me saw the folders where my vsts plugins are installed so what you gotta do is uh, click on add uh, then you gotta browse through the folder. Usually the default will be local disk C for you who are just beginning installing everything as a default folder. So usually I would go where my plugin is. I would add this one. I know there's some VSTs which are sent there. I also go to program files. Uh, this is usually a must. Most of the plugins put their install their the folder location as uh, Steinberg. So all those, I would add that, then probably add select. So as you can see, it's already, it's, it's not added because Studio One is so sensitive to know that uh, this folder is already there. Once you add that folder, what you gotta do is hit apply and hit okay. That's how you, you, you add your, your VSTs to there. So I'm gonna uncheck this because I already have my plugin that I want to use. Uh, already added to here so I don't want to be, to be scanning every time I, I turn it on I'm gonna click OK adding your your sound kits drum kits drum loops samples risers whatever you want to call them I'm just gonna put, put the new uh, click up on a new session uh, I don't know how to open but you hit click on browse uh, then up here there are instruments yeah first of all your instrument you don't put them in such a way probably to be on uh, yeah it will be on type so I usually put them on flat so that every plugin is listed in here and then the next what I want to do is you go to your files when you click on files I'm sure you can see here these are uh, my drum loops and my drum kits uh, and studio one there are two ways on how you can add these sounds in here one is a uh, drag and drop in studio one folder so what I'm gonna do is uh, show you the location where Studio One is. You go in your documents. Uh, you come to Studio One. Uh, you can make a folder here, for example. Uh, uh, yeah, exam sounds better. It's like super professional. <laughs> yeah. Um, so in our exam, what I'll do is uh, I'll throw I'll throw in uh, uh, a loop kit that I'm working on. I'm gonna go on my desk. Copy those there. Okay, those are copied, and then that's one way. So now click refresh where you refresh our exam folder has shown up. We click this. one method that I can use then the other method is just you click here right click probably there will be just studio one 
when you firstly open it you just click here right click and then you come to new root tab so you're gonna have to come to your volume uh, you go to whatever your drum kit or your samples are installed in my case it's the uh, softwares and then I'll come to studio sorry I'll come to audio And they'll come to my kits so in a case where i just already added those what i want to do is uh, as you can see i don't have uh, i only have got my kits uh true loop but right now we are in my kits so i'll create an inner sub folder in these sounds so i gotta come to trio drums i've got a uh, metro booming drum kit the official one here and what i'm gonna do is right click and set as root when you click that you see that the metro booming pops up on top there there's a metro booming my kids and then studio one that's how simple you can do it uh, a bonus tip to you guys i'm gonna give you is probably how to export your midi just through in a simple midi it's not really important to to hear what is there i'm just gonna show you how to export your midis so basically what you gotta do is you got your files and then a folder where you want to put your where you want to put them in so in my case i'll come to my midi folder which is this one what you gotta do is uh that is left click and you drag it all the way to your midi folder uh, inside that pop-up you'd find that this is uh, going to be saved as a, a music loop shift it's switching between music loop and midi file so you gotta do presses press your your shift and let go here they are saved um that's it for today guys uh, i really hope you enjoyed the video i was trying to make this as short as possible so thumbs up to you guys for watching please leave a like if you enjoyed it and share it because that would help the channel grow and probably uh, support me to be uh, releasing more videos every week um, peace to you guys and love to you